In this video I will show you how to install an FTP server on Ubuntu 22.04. Start by updating the system packages. Install the FTP server by running this command. Check the status of the FTP server by running this command. As you can see the FTP is active and running smoothly. Configure the FTP server. All of the configurations related to the FTP server are stored in a file. You can configure this file according to your needs. Enable local FTP user to access the FTP server using the users you will create on the local machine. Just uncomment this line to enable local FTP users. Also enable file and folder upload. This will enable uploading of files to FTP server. In the basic configuration, no user is allowed to write via FTP so uncomment the line. Restrict local users to their home directory so that they can't access the files outside of their home directory. Find the this line and uncomment it. Go to the bottom of the file and add these two lines this will ensure that when a user log in the FTP server, routes to the directory that is meant to be accessed by the user. Also add this ports for passive mode. These ports will be used if there is some firewall issue between client and server and ports 20 and 21 can't be accessed. Save the file just press Ctrl then X and choose yes then press enter. Configure the firewall and open up these ports. The ports are now open and ready to accept traffic. Let us now create a user who will have FTP access on the machine. They will access a specific folder under their home directory.
create an FTP folder for the new user in their home directory. Run this command to configure ownership. Remove the root FTP folder writable permission by running this command. Create an upload directory for the new user. Create upload folder ownership for the new FTP user. Let us now create a demo file inside the upload folder. Let us check if the demo file has been created from the folder itself. As you can see the demo file was created. You can check the permission for the FTP directory by running this command. Next, add the created user to the FTP user list file, so that it allows the user to log in and access the FTP server. Restart the FTP server to apply the changes. I forgot one thing, open the config file again. Scroll to the bottom of the file. Also. Add the following lines which make sure the FTP server only allows access of users who are in its local database and not anyone else. Let us check the IP address of this machine so we connect to it using an FTP client from another machine. The connection is not secure the usernames and password will be unencrypted. If you are connecting on your own local area network this is okay. As you can see we have successfully connected to the user's upload folder. Let us now see how we can secure the connection. Configure SSL using OpenSSL, run this command. It will generate the required 2048-bit private key and self-signed SSL certificate. Edit the FTP configuration file and add the location of the private key and SSL certificate. Look for the certificate lines and replace them.
open the config file again and add these lines at the bottom. This will deny access to anonymous connection over SSL and force users to transfer data and login using SSL only. Restart the FTP service. Let us now try to connect again. We can now access the FTP server over TSL which is secure. Thanks for watching please like the video and subscribe to my channel this will help my channel to grow.